Today, I spent $250 on every illegal minifigure I could find, like ones from Fortnite to Among Us and a bunch of other teams. And then I'm gonna have Hank from Breaking Bad tell me what he thinks about each of them, since finding illegal stuff was kind of his job. With all that said, Lego finds some illegal Lego. Now, Lego makes a lot of minifigures, but you have to buy them in these really expensive sets. And to buy them separately is even more expensive. So anyway, I logged onto the dark web and bought all the illegal Lego I could find. Now all we gotta do is, wait, they're here. Hello, dog. There it is. Now, how am I supposed to open this? There's tape everywhere. I think we gotta go sicko mode with it. Now, this is a lot of illegal Legos. Let's take a look at some of them. Yo, it's the guy from Fortnite. Oh my gosh. Better call Saul. Now, that's a lot of Lego minifigures, so let's take a look at some of them. So the first minifigs I built were from this game called Fortnite. I don't know if you've heard of it. And honestly, I don't know any of these guys' names, but they're actually pretty cool looking. Like this guy who has an RPG and his cousin who is having some issues. We also have this girl with a mohawk and this one with a really weird looking face when you take off the helmet. But I low-key kind of like this guy with the slurp juice because he could just go over to this girl who just just built a wall and then knock it over. But I think my favorites are this lollipop girl who can use her stick to beat others senselessly. And this tomato guy who can definitely get a 360 no scope. Oh my gosh, wow, look at that. That's crazy, how'd he do that? Bro got the victory royale. Hey wait, is that a ninja minifigure? Quit horsing around. All right, so I think these are pretty funny. But will Hank? Number one victory royale. Next, I got these anime minifigures. And for those who don't know, anime are these Japanese cartoons. And here they are in plastic. First, we have this guy who looks kind of angry. And I'll be honest, I've never seen anime before. And I don't know if everyone's hair is this pointy, but it kind of hurts to touch. I think my favorite one is probably the yellow hair one. But this black one kind of reminds me of the emo teenager from the Lorax. <laughs> Now for these next ones, I have to give a warning because they are extra drippy and cursed. I don't even know what I'm looking at with these. These figures look like they have Mickey Mouse's ears and some of the most disturbed printing I've ever seen on a minifigure. I mean, this one looks like it just had a bunch of not legal substances. And this other one looks like half of a Pokemon character. And I don't even know what's happening with these three. I, I think the best of these is probably this one, but that's probably because half of his body parts aren't just pouring out of one side. I'll be honest, these are pretty dang bad. Next, I wanted to check out some cool animals like your mom. Actually, this figure is supposed to be just a giant plastic whale. And this thing low-key looks kind of thirsty, so I'm going to put him in the pool. Mm. Right, I'm going to get him out. Yo, is that an Among Us? I also bought a bear that has seen some things it wants to unsee, and an alligator for Florida Man to wrangle. And also, if you want to buy your own Florida Man made of 100% real Lego, I'll leave a link in the description. And the last animal we have is a tribute to our boy Harambe. Rest in peace, bro. Gone, but not forgotten. And now we have another cursed fig. Oh my gosh, what is going on with this man? He has chainsaws literally everywhere. Look at his tongue. Even his dog has a chainsaw nose. What the dog doing? I kind of want to name this man Chainsaw Charlie, because, you know... Now, do you know Godzilla? He is this giant lizard that runs around various cities and destroys them. Well, here he is as a knockoff Lego. And he comes in a couple different colors for some huh? reason. We have red Godzilla, a blue one, a gray one, a black one, a pink one, a green one, and my personal favorite, the, the gold one. So now you can gather them all up together and they can fight King Kong. Fight. Next up is this older game called Among Us, and there are 16. Actually, 15 new sus figures. I also have these two chunky ones with large arms from my collection, but my favorite has to be Mafia Among Us. This man looks fire. But we also have a bunch of other Among Uses, like the fireman, the policeman, and the samurai artists. They're all pretty cool too. And then we have the ones that don't have arms, because you know, in the game they don't have arms. And this Lego piece also kind of looks like an Among Us alien. Well, I don't know, man. Seeming sus lately. This is Ninjago, a show about different flavors of ninjas fighting a variety of lizard people. Congrats, I just saved you from watching 16 seasons of a show. And since some of these guys are kind of pricey, I got some illegal Lego goods to show you. Look, we have Strawberry Ninja, Blue Raspberry Ninja, and Apple Flavored Ninja. They also have a few friends, and like I said, the bad guys are all lizards. And then there's Sensei Wu. Like, what is he even doing here? I guess my guy Generic is gonna get his boys roasted by Dank Schrader. Goofy, uh, ninjas. Next, I got some of the boys from the happiest place on Earth, Disney World. Except, you know, all the relevant characters. But I guess all the main characters were busy because Disney was turning them all into different shapes of food. Anyway, it looks like I got Donald Duck's rich uncle and his mean nephews. And then there are these two squirrel guys with nuts and a nutsack. 
Pause, wait a minute. What do you mean by that? And while we're on Disney, here are some of the cheapest looking princesses I have ever seen in my entire life. What did they do to you, Cinderella? Okay, so apparently there's this game called Poppy's Playtime. It's about toys who took over a toy factory and kind of killed everybody. We have a blue one, a black one, a pink one, and a green one. And they come with these disturbingly human looking fingers. We thought this was a good idea. So I built the illegal set and it comes with these ghoul like things and a tightrope and everything else was going fine until this giant mega mini figure I accidentally bought showed up and just kind of ruined everyone else's day. This guy is low key kind of huge though. Now a couple of videos ago I built World War II in Lego and you guys shredded me up for having inaccurate weapons. So I copped this small army of US soldiers to compensate and they're pretty legit. And then I loaded up all the soldiers into this boat so that way they could storm the beaches. I also grabbed up a small police army loaded with weapons, shields, armor, battering rams, and attack dogs. Which is kind of ironic because all of these minifigures are illegal. And then I brought in the SWAT team to break into your house for not clicking that subscribe button. Bro, what are you doing? We gotta beat Bob the Builder and subscribers. Cause I'm obviously a better builder than him. Then finally we have some really high tech looking special ops with drones, really big guns, and really scary skeleton masks. Can you imagine how terrifying it would be to have these guys break into your house at night? But you know who really doesn't like crime? Probably famous music man Marshmallow. Also Batman. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. What did he say? And I was able to cop all of these really accurate looking Batman figures, like the Joker and Catwoman, as well as Alfred, his British butler, and these other bad guys, and even himself, you know, Batman or, or Bruce Wayne. And there are two of them. To be honest though, these are pretty accurate and some of the nicest minifigures I've ever seen. So good job, criminals. You did some great work with these. So for my next set of figures, I bought 60 completely random minifigures that have no theme attached to them, like a Star Wars or Ninjago, just a bunch of normal guys. And I bought these all for $10. Building these is the worst, I hate this. And they don't even look good. They look like dog poop, zero out of 10. I hate them. So a while ago, my friend Daly sent me some of these fake Lego figures, like a big purple Grimace and a green M&M from the Avengers movies. And now they can hash it out because apparently one of them's having daddy issues. Ah, give me the Wii controller. No, you give me Wii controller. Now this game is Five Nights at Freddy's and it's about this bear named Freddy and I guess he runs like a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant or something. Anyway, I got him an illegal Lego. There's this brown bear one and then there's also a yellow version of him. Probably no relation to Fozzie. And there's also this yellow bird guy who is one of the most disturbed minifigures I've ever seen. I guess he's supposed to be some sort of bird with a cake. I, I don't know, I just get it away from me. He also has this friend who is a fox and these other guys who are some of the most disturbing minifigures I've seen in my entire life. Like is this a child or an animatronic? I don't know. All I know now is I'm never going to Chuck E. Cheese again. And these last figures are from the show Breaking Bad because I know our boy Dank Schrader is gonna like them. I got this shirtless Walter White before he went bald and he was cooking up something blue with his boy Jesse. And of course, you know, they need their lawyer so they better call Plastic Saul. Hi, I'm Republic Studs. Did you know that you have rights? Well, you probably don't, but hit that subscribe button and you will. Anyway, we gotta bust out our last minifigure and it is of course, the man himself. Dank Schrader. They made an illegal minifigure of a guy who arrests people for crimes. How? Well, now we can find out what he actually is going to think about our illegal minifigures. So take it away, Hank. Hey, you, uh, sussy bakas. Hank here from my pal Republic Studs. I heard the boys want me to uh, look at some illegal Lego figures. I'm gonna see if they are sus or not. Listen, I love hopping on Xbox for a game of Fortnite with the boys. These figs are cringe. I mean, I don't, I don't know studs. These uh, Among Us Legos are seemingly sus. Sussy gussy, if you know what I'm saying. Looks like a generic stud that tried sneaking in his goofy uh, ninjas into a Republic stud vid. L plus ratio. For real, I want to look at the, at the rest of these illegal Lego figures. I want to see these hot ones. That's all looks pretty good, man. <laughs> and that Dank Schrader is the most sexy Lego I've seen in my life. Subscribe to Republic Stud and remember, don't break bad. Well, I'd say that went pretty well. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna be at this Lego convention in Virginia from August 5th through 6th, and I'm gonna be filming a video with this wheel there. So make sure to come by and say hi. I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of free stuff, and I guess you're just gonna have to wait to see what that is. I'll leave some details in the description if you wanna drop in. With that said, you need to comment Sussy Baka. I will catch you all later. Peace out and stay awesome.
Well, I don't know, man. Seeming sus lately. 